Now in number two we're asked to factorise this expression completely. And when it says completely that seems to be a clue that this particular expression is going to have more to it than just one line. Well, When you've got to factorise anything make sure that you check first of all that is there a common factor. And in these two terms you should notice that x is a common factor. And don't forget to put an identical sign. Okay, So this is identical to x bracket and then we have x squared minus 9. So when you expand this you'll get x cubed minus 9x. Now I said completely and as I said before that was a clue that this was going to go again. We have two factors here and the first factor is x and the second factor is x squared minus 9 and this second factor is what we call the difference of two squares. This is the square of x and this is the square of 3. It factorises again and that would break down to two linear factors and in here would go an x and an x to give x squared and then you have plus 3 and minus 3. And this would multiply out to give x squared minus 9. We now have three factors and as a final check none of these factors can be factorised any further. So that brings us then to the end of question two.